In a world where millions of lives are under threat due to COVID-19, it is of vital importance to gain a better understanding of how the virus actually works in search of a cure. The surface of the virus particle is covered with approximately 100 spike proteins. They always come in groups of three, in which the proteins are intertwined. Each individual protein consists of two parts, a globular head called S1 and a stalk-like structure called S2. One of the three heads is slightly bent, enabling it to connect to the so-called ACE2 receptor on a human cell. Once the connection between the virus and the receptor has been established, the human body activates the TMPRSS2 enzyme. This is a protein-cutting enzyme that proceeds to cut off the head of the spike protein. This causes a change in the structure of the virus. The S2 protein now grows longer, penetrating the human cell. The protein then retracts again, bringing the membranes of the virus and the cell very close to one another. At this point, the virus can enter the cell through a process of endocytosis. It engulfs the cell with its membrane. The virus has successfully invaded the cell and can now start to multiply, ready to overrun the system. However, we have strong defence mechanisms that try to prevent this from happening at all costs. Scientists recently discovered how our antibodies react. It's actually a very simple process. Our antibodies bind to the spike head, or S1, thereby preventing it from connecting with the ACE2 receptor and stopping the virus from spreading. Understanding exactly how this process takes place is key to the rapid development of a vaccine. At the moment, more than 100 vaccines are in preclinical development. While a number of these candidates are very promising, it is too early to determine if any of them will be successful in late-stage trials. There are a lot more stages involved in the development and production of a vaccine than you might think. Under normal circumstances, it takes an average of 8 to 15 years before a vaccine ends up in the hands of healthcare providers. All over the world, researchers are now joining forces so that we can push the boundaries of conventional vaccine development and win the fight against this global public health crisis.